Okay, really, I have <clears throat> two questions. One's a follow-up to his, and then another one's... Um, the first one, I guess, would be with regards to the nerfs and stuff, um, and you're saying niche nerfing and whatnot. Uh, Shadowform is, isn't exactly niche, to say the least. Louder? Sorry. <clears throat> um, it's, it's a very widespread skill that's used throughout the game. It, and I've seen there's been a, a lot of rumors on the boards and whatnot with regards to that being nerfed in the, in the near future here. Uh, question with regards to that. Um, my second question, if I may, uh, with regards to the XTH, when that might be back up, just out of curiosity. Somehow I knew that question would come up. <laughs> um, so I'll, I'll address shadow form first, and then I'll hand it over to Mike for XTH. Um, so <laughs> shadow form, yes, shadow form is very prevalent, especially in elite areas and specific farms. We are starting to see it more in, uh, like, you know, um, it's in dungeon clears, but we're starting to see even more of the speed clearing getting into dungeons. Um, and we're even seeing speed clearing using shadow form with like vanquishing and farming titles and stuff like that. So yes, it's becoming more and more prevalent, and I do think that's a that's a problem. Um, when when I look at shadow form, though, uh, again, when we went going back to Urson, when we nerfed Urson, um, here was the skill that was allowing a lot of people to really you know play areas that they hadn't been able to normally get into or were too difficult for them, it, it really broadened the audience. When we nerfed Urson, um, even though I swear it's still playable, <laughs> people don't, people don't want to run it anymore. And so instead of um, going back to balanced builds for Underworld, people just weren't playing Underworld. They were going back to solo farming Underworld and not grouping for it. Um, now we have Shadow Form, again, allowing people to get into Underworld, Fisher, DOA, The Deep, Urgaz, um, with a little bit more ease. Yes, you have to be playing a very specific kind of gimmick build, but you can get in um, easier than you could before. And so it, you know, it makes me nervous um, about nerfing it. And we've let it go for a while because of that. Um, although it's becoming more prevalent and it's becoming more heavily abused, um, eight minutes for Underworld is way too fast. <laughs> way, way too fast. Um, but uh, I feel like if we just nerf Urson, it's going to go back to now we just can't group. Um, and I don't think that's a really good trade off. Uh, yeah, people are requiring um, uh, Shadow Form uh, to get into these places, but at least you can get in. So if we're going to address this, I want us to do it in such a way that we're also making it easier for players to get into these places and having them be a little bit more player friendly, not necessarily easier, but uh, more conducive to group play rather than solo play. Um, and that makes it a bigger project. That makes it a much bigger project. Uh, it's not really as easy as just changing a number in a, an XML file <laughs> and throwing it up. Uh, I know it may seem like that, but um, I don't want to just have a bunch of people exodus from the game because they can't play these areas that they were able to play with, with Shadow Form. So uh, it's going to take us a little bit more time before we address it, but it is on our, it is on our schedule, in fact. Um, so there you go. <laughs> now on to Mike for XTH. Drum roll. Yeah. <laughs> uh, XTH is something that we're really taking a look at on the internal servers and pounding on it. Uh, there was a some pretty deep flaws with the original implementation of how it went up. Uh, and it's, it's something that we just don't feel is right to put out right now. Um, so we're, we're, we're still putting uh, you know, time into it and making sure that, uh, that, uh, you know, that it, if, when it comes back, if it comes back, that it's going to be rock solid and that we're not going to run into any of these problems that we've had in the past. Uh, this is, it's something that we have a, an internal deadline that we're trying to hit uh, to make sure that we don't just leave it out, out there as an open question that just kind of loom, looms out there. We want to make sure that you guys are informed of what's going on, that, uh, that we don't just leave this as an, out, uh, an outstanding question until you know, for next year or whatever. Uh, so we're, we're still working on it. We just don't really have anything to say on it yet. We've, we've kept you updated so far as to where we're at. Once we have more information, we'll be able to give it. But um, right now, it's just about testing it, making sure it's good and then you'll know more. I think we have time for one or two more questions before we have to move on to our next panel. So, anybody else? 
Hey guys, um, just wondering if you have any more information about the test crew. Like, is it just going to be PVE? Are we going to do PVE? Like, are there going to be hours where players are going to be online, or the schedules, or it's just like general information like that? Um. What? What, should I cover the question? Well, I can. <laughs> um, it is a community thing, It is a it, community Byron? thing, yeah. So it's our, our plan with it is really to get your feedback early on on changes we want to make to the game. This includes PvP skill changes. Lindsay talked a little bit about all, all the ideas she has to take the game into the next year and like creating new content as well. This will, co this will be covered, but we need the test crew for that as well. It's just like... You guys play the game for so long, you know the game so well, um, and the more eyes actually look on stuff, and the more people test stuff properly, I mean, the, I, I, it's my job to read the forums, so I'm aware of all the ideas that are out there and how easy it should be to fix stuff. Theory crafting is always a fine thing, but if you actually test stuff, that's, that's in, invaluable. So our plan is that the test crew should yeah, we will use them for PvP, like input on PvP balancing, actually testing changes, and also like later on when we do stuff with PvE content, include them as well. All the details about like what's going on, like how do we to communicate with people, um, we will probably talk about this like in two weeks or something. When we we will we are currently working on an FAQ for the for the test crew, um, so that people actually can read and say, ah, yeah, that answers my question. We, we want to get it up and running as soon as possible because, you know, everything that we're working on would be great to expose the test crew to. And, uh, you know, yes, it's our job to think of everything before it goes out. But when you've got millions of people who are pounding on stuff, they're going to think of different things than you. They, their brain thinks differently. Um, they have friends who they can collaborate with and come up with all kinds of crazy stuff. And um, sometimes... Uh, something comes up that's a big surprise to us because we just didn't think of it that way. It'd be really nice to know about those things before they're in the game and out there for everybody to see. Okay, last question. No last question. Well, then I would say thank you very much that you've been here and took your time to answer all the questions from the community. Um, and I think they earned a big applause for like being here and like getting pounded with your questions. Great that you guys have all been here. You might want to stay. We immediately after this, we have another Q and A session on Fall of Ascalon, the, our first Guild Wars novel. Um, so you just want to stick around. We take a five minute break to switch people on stage, readjust the microphones, and then we will just be back. Thank you, guys. <laughs>